What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today on the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're going to be talking about One UI 6.0. Specifically, people have a lot of complaints about it. I made a video review of the top 10 features when it first started rolling out in the UK and Germany. And as people have been getting this, um, people have been not liking it based on the comments I've gotten. Maybe it's just uh, the negative people are kind of loud, but I figured we'd read some of those comments. I'll address some of those reactions. And then I also have an update today on something that a lot of people have been asking about, and that is HomeUp. I might make another full video on this, but HomeUp was updated for One UI 6.0, which you guys know brings the vertical app list that I love so much, but it's not a full update. So I'm gonna talk about that, and then we'll get into some of those comments people have about One UI 6.0. Before we get started, I wanna thank my son Jonathan. We've got the lion hanging out today. You guys know he usually gives us two animals, but he told me today he's making a habitat while I'm gone to work, so. I could only have the lion, so the lion is our friend for today's video. I also want to remind you guys that if you are interested in saving some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my partners at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless starting at just 15 bucks a month. They have a number of different plans for any data needs and pricing category that you might fall into. They've got a 5 gig plan, $15 a month, the 15 gig plan, 20 a month, 20 gig plan for 25 a month, and the unlimited plan for $30 a month. All their plans come in limited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. Very simple to switch to Mint. You get either an eSIM or a physical SIM. And if you get the physical SIM, they'll send you out a SIM tool, pop out your old SIM, pop in the Mint SIM, and let the savings begin. Now, I've been using them here in Phoenix for quite a while. I love Mint so much. I even have a Mint Mobile microfiber cleaning cloth you guys can see right here. They sent me one. Love it. Um, love the service here as well. If you guys want to give them a try, go to trymintmobile.com slash Springer. Also in the pinned comment description, we really do appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit. Let's actually get into those comments first because, you know, getting into the comments is kind of fun. And uh, let's kind of read through some of these complaints people have. And then I'll talk a little bit about Home Up. So stay tuned. And if you need to fast forward through the video, if you want to hear about the Home Up update, uh, I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. You can scroll through. Um, so lots of people said um, that not much piques their interest. Someone was saying it's kind of boring. A lot of people said this as well. Um, they said the update's disappointing because they don't have any major changes. Same animation, same interface, same speed. I disagree with all of those points, by the way. These, these are not my opinion. I'm just saying that the large reaction I've read is overwhelmingly more negative than most of the ones that I've, I've read the last few years. Um, you, you can't expect huge changes every, every, every year. And a lot of the big changes that they implement um, are coming in things like Goodlock and other places, especially if you're an enthusiast. So... My, my personal opinion is I, I think the, the update is pretty good. The, the animations are, are quite a large improvement if you actually use it and compare it to One UI 5.1. Um, updated earlier, uh, this person said they love it. So that's one person who likes it. There weren't that many. Um, watching the videos, thanks for the updates. Honestly, need to introduce a swipe up from anywhere on the home screen to make things reachable. There is a one-handed mode, by the way. So... That is a possibility. I made a video on that before. If you don't know about it, uh, you can certainly take a look. I can drop that below. Uh, any way to make the quick panel brighter? Not that I know of yet. They might add that to Quick Star. Um, this is something here that's, I, I'm aware of this. People comment this a lot. This is another thing that I wanted to respond to. When you're making things behind the camera and you, you're not always necessarily, you're talking and you're looking at what you wanna say, your script, I usually just have notes. But sometimes it, you do things you wouldn't do in your regular use. Of course, I know I can swipe anywhere on the home screen to get the notifications down. People comment that that quite a lot. Um, does the folder lag still occur? I think the lag is better with the folder opening animations, personally. Um, feel like it has new animations after I update and it feels smoother. It does have new animations and it is smoother, uh, in my opinion. I will make a battery view. Um, I will make a battery uh, update. Flight mode, someone was talking about flight mode, turning airplane mode on and off. I do think that has improved quite a bit as well. Lots of people complaining about the rollout as well, which is, um, you know, it's always a slow rollout. It hasn't really started rolling out fully in the US, only to some people who are already in the beta. So if you're on the carriers or if you're even on unlocked model, it really hasn't started rolling out widely in the US. It's rolled out in India, Germany, UK. The camera has improved, I think, quite a bit. Um, Let's see, trying to see if there's any other ones where people are complaining. See, so a lot of people hate the quick settings. I mean, there are like 300 comments on this video or something. I know I won't be able to get all of them. Someone did not like the quick settings and a lot of people said they look like Apple-ish. Uh, I don't know, I don't really agree. Of course, that's gonna do that. Let me go back to the home screen and use the 
swipe down gesture. There's the quick settings for those of you guys who don't remember. I use quick start to make them a little more dense there, but that's what the quick settings look like. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think they look pretty good. I don't think they really look like, I, I don't think they look like uh, Apple, but that, that's just a personal opinion. Uh, so most of the people, I guess, it seems like a lot of people don't like the, uh, the quick access panel and they haven't got it yet. Or people are complaining about, you know, the fact that there aren't very many changes. There are some positive comments here, obviously, as well. Um, someone did like that it's iOS style. A lot of people commented that. A lot of people didn't like it, though. So a lot of interesting comments. I I'd love to hear what people think, more of what you think. Like I said, there's a lot of comments, almost 300 comments on this video, so it's hard to get to all of them in one video. But I kind of wanted to respond to some of the things, specifically uh, some people saying there are no changes. I, I disagree with that. There's a lot of changes in One UI 6.0, and I'll continue to, to kind of tease out those features that are important in uh, single videos in the next few weeks. Anyway, let's talk about the uh, Home Up update because I know a lot of people care about this, and uh, it's not good news. Last night they pushed out a Home Up update, which everybody wanted for One UI 6.0. But the bad news is it doesn't include the feature that we were all hoping for right away. So it's version 15.0.00.7, uh, which has One UI 6.0 partial support, 12.23 megs. But check this out. Upcoming features, home screen apps list, home screen finder access, and three types of unsupported layouts, stacked, vertical list, and slim list. Two of those are the only ones I really use a lot from home up, which is the vertical apps list and the um, stack for the task changer. So if you actually install this, it's not very exciting because the stuff that most of us use, if you go in here in the home screen, you see the apps list is not there. And then if you go down here to the task changer, you're missing stack, vertical list, and slim list. And stack and grid, those are the two I switched between. I, I kept it on grid because I mean, I don't really have a choice since the other ones are grayed out. Now these will be added in a future update. So a lot of people were commenting on my previous video about a home up saying that they removed it and it's not coming back, that's false. They will be adding it back. So that's coming in a future update. Of course, I'll make a video. I may make a full video on this because they have added some things that are optimized for One UI 6.0. And I think people will be interested in how those play with some of the new animations. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts about One UI 6.0. If you're in the US, you're gonna have to be patient. It's a really slow route here and it's probably gonna take a good two weeks before everybody gets it. Um, so I hate to deliver that news, but it's just the case. Again, if you guys want to save some money on your wireless, you can do so switching my partners at Mint Mobile. Go to trymintmobile.com slash Springer. Also in the pinned comment and description. Save some money. Support the channel. We do appreciate it. We appreciate Mint for being partners with the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.